What is going on guys, Snickel here, and today I have another Platinum Trophy video for you guys. Today I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy in Car X Drift Racing Online on the PlayStation 4. Now the last trophy that I do have to get is Winter Drift, which is to earn 1 million drift points on Castle Road. These drift points and a few other trophies throughout the game are actually pretty easy because you can do them in open lobbies at your own leisure. But there are a few things in the game that uh, I would consider to be quite the grind, which we will get into in this video. If you guys do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing for more trophy content like this and hitting that bell notification to stay up to date on all of my new uploads. Anyway, with all of that being said, let's get right into this video. I did live stream myself getting this platinum. I do live stream all my platinum trophies in various other games over on Twitch. So if you want to follow me, there's a link for that down in the description below. So quickly about this winter drift trophy, what I did was I went into the Castle Road map and you can kind of go down to the bottom and there is a an open area with a Christmas tree. And basically what I would do is I would just drift around the Christmas tree and on the long stretch, I would do a Manji just to keep the combo going. And what, what you can do is you can actually press when you're in the open Open lobby so you create an open lobby online as i stated in the beginning and you can set it to a uh, basically so that it has a password so nobody can join and then you just drift around like this and what you can actually do is i believe you press left on the d-pad and it'll pull up all the players with all their drift points and you can track how many drift points you have for the trophy so it's it's pretty uh it's pretty useful there if you want to know you know how much progress you're making and i think this took me maybe around um 30 to 40 minutes and i i think i needed around six hundred thousand. Uh, drift points in just this one lobby because there is a trophy that is tied to i believe winning 25 events on in castle road so you have to do those online so i already had some drift points from that and uh yeah i just playing it and also doing the a few events as well because it counts all your drift points through not only doing everything online but there is a single player aspect to this game as well even though it's called car x drift racing online there is a a, a single player so for the rest of the game here uh what what do i think of it well first of all i think the game is phenomenal from a physics standpoint th this game is about drifting right so the number one thing that it should be focused on is drifting and the physics of drifting and i wish that need for speed would uh would take a thing or two from that because when your game is about driving a car you should have some pretty damn good physics for your cars and for your driving and uh, things like that and customization and uh you know things related to cars and uh, this game does it perfectly so uh yeah take notes here need for speed because this is phenomenal and they do have like an easy mode i would call it drifting where the cars kind of automatically adjust themselves for you and then they also have a mode that's like zero assist so you can make it extremely hard or you can make it extremely easy so it, it is very accessible to that point so what about everything else in the game? Why is the rarity of the trophies so low? And it mainly comes down to a few things. So one thing in the single player is tied to like getting all gold or gold on all tracks. You don't have to do that in just race events. You can do that in tandem events. You can do that in time trials and you don't have to do like every single time trial for each track. You could do like, you know, drift events on five tracks, time trials on five other tracks, tandems on five other tracks. So you can you can kind of mix it around. And if you're struggling with a, with a track to get, you know, drift points or to win a drift event, you can try it in a time trial or you can try it in a tandem event or anything like that. You can mix and match. So I don't know why that's so rare, I think, because people don't really know that. And another thing is um, reaching max level, which is rank 30, which used to be a pain in the ass to get. And the best way to go about it was to essentially AFK in online lobbies. You can now um, basically keep doing a tandem event over and over again, just the end of it. And you can earn about 200 to 250,000 XP every 15 minutes or so, depending how good you are with going through the event. And you need 6.7 million XP to get to rank 30. So I think that uh, is roughly like eight to 10 hours, depending how good you are. So, and again, it is a little skill dependent because the higher score you get, the more XP you'll get. And then the last thing is to win 1,000 races online, which does sound like a lot, and it is a lot, but you can do these dual events online that take around 20 to 25 seconds with load times. So it ends up being not too bad because, uh, you know, they're pretty quick and the load times are non-existent. All the load times in this game, regardless of if you're playing online or you're playing in single player or anything are actually really fast. So that is one really good thing about the game. So if you do an event and then you want to replay the event, the event loads right back up. You don't have to wait a few seconds or anything like that uh, when you're in an open lobby and, and starting events like that. 
So we are coming around the corner here. I am going to clip a building and end up uh, failing my drift, which is good because you have to finish the drift in order for the points to count, which I did not know. Oh, I guess we're going one more lap here. So with all of the grinding and everything, the game used to be super difficult, uh, not super difficult, but it used to take a decent amount of time, mainly because of the rank 30. Getting rank 30 through AF Kane was uh, painful to say the least. And I got up to rank 28 through doing the AF Kane. And uh, I left my PS4 on for many of nights, many and many of nights, uh, maybe too many nights, if you want me to be completely honest. So here we go. We're finishing or screwing up our drift, which is going to end up getting our trophy. So there's our trophy winter drift. And then we will get this platinum trophy here. 100 percent clear. This has been a long time in the making. I struggled for a decent amount of it, but thankfully there was a new method found for the XP. So anyway, with all of that being said, let's take a look at this list. So here it is 100% with a platinum, no DLC or anything. And as you're looking through the list here, you're going to see that there are trophies for all types of things, just driving, just drifting, doing certain type of entries and things like that. And then there's going to be your grindy trophies and your level trophies and all of that. The trophies that you're going to see right here that are like fast entry, fast transition and all that. Again, you can do those in open lobbies. There's just two of them, which are the clipping zone and the clipping point. You have to actually make an event in order to get those points, but it's pretty easy to grind those out. And if you're going to do those, they only take around 30 minutes to an hour to get them done all the way so all in all really not too bad and you should get a lot of these while just naturally playing through the game and doing things and then you'll have to grind out those few like really tedious and monotonous trophies at the end anyway here's the profile trophy level 559 71 percent got 13,420 total trophies got 9,060 bronze 3,010 silver 1137 gold and 213 platinums with again 13,000 420 total trophies wow um wish i could talk and then here's the platinum trophy itself again 100 percent clear so if you are going to go for this game it is doable i will say it's more doable than it used to be you will need somebody to do the online actually you'll need a few people because i think you need to like make rivals or something not really sure how that works uh, i did that like a, a long time ago but you do need someone in order to do events with so just one person and it doesn't really take that long maybe 30 minutes to an hour to do everything that you need to do online wise and then the rest of it will come while just you know playing through the game grinding and doing things like that so let's talk about some numbers here for a second and i'll talk about previous to post numbers with the new methods of leveling up and everything like that so difficulty out of 10 i'm gonna give this like a i don't know i don't know what to give this i'm gonna give this a four out of ten because really with with the accessibility it's really not that difficult and anybody can pick the game up and with a little bit of time you'll get used to it and you'll get pretty good with it so it's not something that's like super difficult like a gran turismo or anything like that but it's also not super easy but i would say it, it's a bit below average so i'll give this like a four out of ten on the difficulty scale now time it takes to get the platinum so before this game probably would have taken you 100 to 200 hours to get the platinum with the AFK method to get to level 30. With the new method to get to level 30, if you're starting from square one, this game will probably take you 20 to 30 hours. I would say more on the 30 hour side, probably, because getting your levels is going to take you around eight hours. Getting a thousand wins is going to take you around eight to 10 hours. So if you round up and you go 10 hours for both of those, you're at 20. And then another 10 hours to do various other things and clean up and play through the single player is, is probably pretty good you could rush through and probably get it done in around 20 ish hours you would really be pushing it but you could probably do that but i would say on the conservative side around 30 hours to get through this now which is great because uh it used to be you know five times that <laughs> before the new methods were found so four out of ten 30 hours not as bad as people make it out to be so go pick the game up if you haven't already and if you really enjoy racing games you should do it you you should definitely do it and if you don't enjoy racing games you should still do it because it is a great game. And I think they're actually going to be coming out with like some sort of like street racing or open world version of this game, which um, isn't the reason why I went back to do it. I bought this like day one back before it was even sold on the North American store. You could only get it on the European store. So I, I bought it there and uh, ended up playing it. But anyway, I'm rambling with all of that being said. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on the game. And if you enjoyed this content, consider subscribing for more of it because I post trophy content all the time. Anyway, if you did enjoy, give it a like and I hope to see you all around sometime soon.